So this short video is about how to code your open-ended survey question. So um, each group has at least one open-ended survey question. And the data, when you get it, is going to essentially look like this. Like you can copy it into a table. Now, essentially, the way you code it is, and I, there's probably several ways to code it, but the simplest way to code it is to go through and figure out um, common themes. So it's very much like qualitative coding. So in this case, this is an example where I asked, what are a few effective ways for teachers to incorporate NGSS practices in facilitating environmental stewardship? So you can see here that one teacher said, the best way is through environmental stewardship projects. Well, maybe that's a bit redundant, but nonetheless, I coded it green. And same with the next one, stewardship encourages students to identify a problem and design a solution and supports analysis and reasoning. So they're doing a little bit better job connecting it to NGSS, all right? So, that's one code is um, how they connect is saying, well, the project do NGSS things, all right? The next code is this yellow one, which has to do with answers regarding um, that teachers are unfamiliar with the standards and so they need to learn them, right? So two teachers talked about saying that they need to familiarize themselves with NGSS. Those same two teachers talked about attending professional development, that that would be a good way to start to understand NGSS and stewardship. These two might be close friends, or maybe they were sitting next to each other when they filled out the survey. Um, and then as I went down, I saw a new idea, um, which is that this teacher really is focusing on more of an equity component, developing lesson plans that will support English language learners and students with special needs, right? So that's something that they were focused on. So as I go down, I might end up with five to 10 different answers that teachers give me, all right? And I'll just keep coding. Another way you can do it, if you don't wanna use colors, is you can use the comments, right? So this is stewardship, you know, maybe I just have one word or maybe have a few words um, and NGSS um, practices. All right, so maybe I have the description. So then when I go to do, I, I do a count, and this is something a little bit different than qualitative research. So um, for example, I'll have the code stewardship. I'll usually use, this is sort of just a hash mark, but I use a one, so this isn't an 11. This is just each time I see it, I put a one, right, for each, each group. If you're doing it by hand, obviously you can use hash marks. So I've seen it twice, and then I always have examples. So I copy an example into the um, table. Um, this example here is not a very good example. So normally I wouldn't copy it into the table, but I put it here because I wanted to show you that I always have at least two examples. Usually I have three or four, because when I go to write it up, I wanna be able to say, you know, two teachers discussed, um, the ways in which NGSS practices supported stewardship. And here's an example quote, stewardship encourages students to identify a problem and design a solution, supports analysis and reasoning, et cetera. All right, so, and then you would just continue to fill out this table. Um, there was a couple that talked about the need for PD. There was a couple that talked about um, NGSS is new, right? And so for each of them, I'm going to give a hash mark for how many people talked about it, and I'm gonna give some examples. Um, this just basically sets you up for the writing, and it also really gives you a sense um, of who's talking about what, because usually one of the things will have a lot, and then they'll go down from there. Okay, that is a brief description and hopefully it will support.